Hello, time here. What do you think of my new nose? I'll show how you too can make a nose like this. Carrying on from the gain more artistic control over a 3D animated character's face tutorial, we'll only need to insert one control line to create this elegant nose. However, we'll insert two additional lines to give us even greater control. OK, let's get started. Yep, 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 to hide the cages for the eyeballs, eyelashes and eyebrows, select a point that belongs to the main body group. Then click the bunny in the grey hat. Centering the view on this selected control point makes it easier to zoom in and rotate the view around this point. Begin with the first line running from this centre line so that it runs around the mouth before diverting it up into the eye socket. If we see the eye socket colour sweeps are no longer colouring the entire sockets due to the insertion of multiple patches, merge all patches in the sockets into single patches by selecting these three lines in the eye socket, which includes the new line and its two neighbours. Unselect points with the rectangle selection tool by holding down both shift and control. With these three lines selected, we can now click merge and confirm with yes. Introducing a new facial feature like a nose to our noseless head will inevitably change our character's appearance. It's essential to approach this transformation with care to maintain at least some of the qualities we've grown fond of. That's why I prefer to begin by making minimalist changes in forming the nose, ensuring we keep a good deal of the character's original appeal. In the past, I found it much easier to make a cute dog than to create a human with a nose. This led me to believe that it's easier to craft an appealing human nose when the head has an angle somewhat akin to a dog's head shape rather than a flat face. This characteristic is often stylized in cartoon characters. Once we've created a subtle nose that meets our approval, it's important to save our work. This step creates a fallback point, allowing us to experiment with more pronounced changes, secure in the knowledge that we can return to the version we're happy with if the new alterations don't feel like an improvement. With the addition of a nose between the eyes and mouth, we might consider increasing the space to create a longer nose. Because we'll want to include the teeth in making our selection, begin by clicking the bunny to show all the cages. Then use the grey hat to hide the cages within the eye and eyelash groups. With a side view, select control points below the ear to ear line all the way down to the chin. Unselect points by holding down both shift and control. Just checking, I selected the teeth by toggling out of Z buffer cage mode for a moment. Gently drag the selected points downward and slightly forward being aware of the nose's angle. Remember, a subtle adjustment is sufficient. Even a small shift can significantly alter the character's appearance. Now let's insert our second control line, this time left with it running around the end of the nose and the mouth. Use appropriate view orientations to assist in smoothing out the points. To have more control over smoothing the cheeks here, let's add a control line from the eye socket to the mouth. This will give us two direct lines from the eye socket to the mouth on each side of the nose. From time to time, focus on the face's outline to spot any angles that stick out and see where points might need adjusting to smooth them out.
Before we can animate our character again, we'll need to reapply ownership to the head. Here we have our animated character skin coloured and wearing clothes as shown in the modelling clothes for our 3D animated character tutorial. 